square average yes right or untell me this is generic my target is m20 grade concrete it's right m20 one cube i get get that 90 newton per mm square another cube is 25 26 27 how you take the average of this right or no problem bro i am not sure i guess summation uh, summation divided by 4 is correct correct or no as per mathematician is correct x1 x2 x3 x3 x4 divided by n is correct so as an engineer this is my product is right i want to judge it good or bad so i take the compared to the three value 25 26 27 this is a 19 how I can compare these two? So you can omit anything, you can take these three values, that's a good. That is engineering. That is a engineering. Like that, you want to do it. So the data you should be it should be free from the error. Like how T. Yes? With the T powder, have the T? No, it's filter no. Double filter, triple filter, two times, it's right. Similarly, here also, so we have the data, n number of data. So, reject the data, unwanted data. How I can reject? Sar will speak, I think, afternoon, quality control. <coughs> right? How I can reject the data? So, I can pick some range, compression strength of concrete. I can take 250 Newton per mm square, available. My target is around 20. I can take with 250 two, 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 two mm square as a reference data. No. Can I take the 5 Newton mm square? That's also no. 60? No. Mine is 20. I take up to 25, it's okay, fine. Less than also. If it, what, that is, I want to fix. 15 also, it's good. Okay, fine. I will take some water. So, I don't want to take 50, I don't go for that 250, even though strength is more. My target is 20. Right? So, you fix what is the range. What is the range? For example, size of the column. Size of the column. Right? In x direction, y direction. 250, 300. Like that. So, don't fix it 1 meter width of the column. It's available. That is a special case. The building, 250, 240, maximum 300. This side, 500 mm, maximum, like this. So, this is the range. So, you confine the data. So, that is the very important. Here also, you do this. Then, construction of experimental database. The result with respect to this, what is the data is given input to that system? It's learn. Simple. In Tamil, no? Similarly, machine learning also same. What will give input? Your output. That's all. Then, database of experimental RC beam column connections will be considered based on the published literature. Okay? So, you can take any data for the beam column joint, published literature, or you go for experimental results, or you go make it as one final mill model. From that model, you give the input and all. You take the different variables. We can database. We need some database. That's all. From this, we can get. Only the, what is my constraint? I take only the exterior beam column joint. Is a selected because my aim is calculate the what is the shear capacity of exterior beam column joint. I don't want to take interior beam column joint, corner joint, so and so because I told you know my target is 20 minimum square. I don't want to take 15, I don't go for the 250 minimum square. Similarly, strip beam means exterior, interior means interior. Then, spacements with eccentrically between the beam and column is avoided. Eccentricity means, you know that, load, the beam columns are eccentricity, some distance away from the load axis. What is the problem means, this is the beam. Load axis means fine. Load axis here means, it's create the, what? Create the? 
हाँ मोमेंट है दिस डायरेक्शन मींस टॉर्शन क्रिएट द टॉर्शन अगेन बुल हाँ फॉर हेडेक इट्स राइट सो डोंट वांट दिस ओके सिम सेफली आई वांट टू प्ले विथ माय मैथमेटिकल मॉडल राइट डोंट वांट दैट ऐसे नहीं सीखे देन फाइनल फेलियर मोड्स विल बी ए जॉइंट शेयर फेलियर राइट डिफरेंट फेलियर ही होता है राइट सपोज द बीम और द मिडल क्रैक है व्हाट टाइप ऑफ फेलियर राइट मिडल बॉटम ओवर फेलियर व्हाट टाइप ऑफ फेलियर ब्रो टेल मी जस्ट विल इन इट्स राइट यस एनी स्मॉल स्मॉल क्रैक एट द बॉटम दैट इज फ्लेक्चरल फेलियर द शेयर क्रैक हियर मींस शेयर इट्स राइट देन कॉलम Crack at the top and bottom means top and bottom. What is this? Buckling, right? Crushing. Different feeling is there. So I am playing with my model very carefully. My final failure modes will be a joint shear failure. What is that? Joint shear failure. Shear. You know what is shear? What is shear, bro? Bending. You know that. What is shear? Simply. Basic should be thorough, bro. Yeah. What is shear? Mathematically or literally, you can say. What is that? Shear. Yes. Like this, this shear, this also opposite, no? Huh? One name both this. Terminology is very important, right? Equal and the opposite. Like this, equal and opposite force. That is called as a shear. That is. What is the difference between couple and moment? Couple and moment. Both are same or different? What is the unit of this? Unit same is correct. Newton meter. What is the difference? Couple and moment. Equal and opposite. Moment means. Okay. Take this body. Right. So it's with respect to this point. Rotate now. Create the couple moment with respect to force where it's a distance matter. Distance zero also we can get couple. But when I ever get the distance zero, it's moment. Right? That is equal and opposite force. That shear failure only I will take care of. Right? Shear failure means the crack in the horizontal like this. That's only I will take this. One. Then. While constructing database, following data investigated and collected, the scale and name of the specimen is a must. Width and depth of the beam and columns. I will take that width and the depth of the beam and the columns. Number of diameter. Number of diameter inside the beam, inside the column. Right? Then grade of reinforcement bar, Fe 4 and 5 or Fe 500, like that. Top and bottom. We provide the reinforcement, the top and the bottom. The length of the beam. From the force applied, the grade of concrete, the details of air reinforcement in the joint location, column axle load level, failure mode. So, these are all the my input for making the model. Right. So, again, I will coming back for the code. So, everything we speak with respect to code, it's right. We should be thorough about the code. So, different code, um, ACA, EN code, IS code, New Zealand code are also, they have the Limited uh, parameters they are considered for the prediction of joint shear strength. For example, ACA, they are taken for the compressive strength, compressive strength, joint width, joint depth, then factor to be the type of the joint. Then, EN code, European code, joint width, depth of the joint, column axle load, reduction factor for compressive strength, factor for design value of tensile strength, etc. So, IS code, our code, no? 13920-2006, compressive strength of the concrete, 
joint weight, joint depth. Only three parameters. My argument is, it's not enough. Assessing me. So we need something. Right? Like this. So I go for the another one. This is a identified parameters for my um, problem. One is a compression strength, joint width and depth is right. Joint width the <coughs> joint width B. Joint width, joint depth, depth of the beam as per AC echo. Then I can have that mathematical model BJ. How I can take in case of top order section. B, 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 B plus B, C divided by 2. In case of n number of things, I can make that mathematical model. Then compressive strength, beam reinforcement at the top, ASD, the top, the beam reinforcement bottom, B, ASD, then beam length, yield strength of the bars. These are the some parameters to consider. Then joint shear reinforcement index, joint shear reinforcement index, then column axial load level, beam bar index, then beam column depth ratio, then joint shear strength. These are the parameters I taken for that mathematical model. Right. Already told you, you know, any set of data, we have that maximum, unit. what is the range? Right? My width of the joint, width of the joint in meter, it's was 0 0.372, then uh, maximum is 0 0.37, minimum is 0 0.1, mean is 0 0.250. Standard deviation unit and all is given. This is the width of my joint. My model it works within this limitation only. Next one is for example, I want to take the compressive strength of my beam column joint. The maximum is 96 Newton mm square, minimum is 50 Newton mm square, the mean is 41, standard deviation 90, unit is MPA. Similarly, I want to fix. You can fix this this model for any kind of problem, any kind of problem you only fix what is the maximum, minimum, mean standard deviation etc. This is simple mathematical model. So you go for that advanced to ANOVA is there, another model, another also available you can use that, right. Then, then it's an, again a joint shear strength, I want to predict this, then maximum is 8.6, minimum is 1.8, then mean is 4.8. Then standard division 1.78. This is MPA. This I want to find. So already told you, you know, these are the my input. My output also I know that range. That is called as supervised machine learning. If I am not fixing this means, this is not a supervised machine learning. Right. Next one. The development of model. How can develop that? What is the basic concept of that? The present study focus on neural network modeling for predicting the joint shear strength of exterior RC beam column joints. RC beam column joint. Neural network exhibits the characteristics of the human brain. It has ability to learn from the experience. I already told you, no. Learn from the experience. Simple. Best words you can keep it in mind. Generating from the previous examples to solve the new problems. Right? This is a machine learning. Sorry, artificial neural network. Then, artificial neural network, also known as neural network, it is a popular supervised deep learning algorithm for analyzing data through the network of the decision levels. The aim consists of interconnected decision functions known as nodes, which is interact with each other through this action like the edges. Right? The input layer results the data data sets, features, hidden layers, analysis and process of input features, then output displays the final results. Then is the input, hidden layer is analyzing part, output layer is the final. So this is the general topology of artificial neural network. Then, another one is very important factor, this is very useful, I think you may be crossed this word, weighted, weighted average, I think you studied in the survey, it's correct, survey 2. Right, error analysis, computation of error using weighted residual method, it's right. You assign the weight, weightages. For example, my, my capacity in my classroom with respect to the, my score in mid sem exam, in semester exam, I can score no. For example, the people have this mark 1 to 50, 
I give the weightages of 0.5. Above 50 to 100, I give the weightages 1. Similarly, right? Similarly, as in the weightings. So, I can take that beam, beam with the beam column, with the then joint shear, bending moment, shear force, so on, so which one is the predominating factor? Predominating factor. For example, this is a beam column joint. Huh? I will take the body air resistance. That also one of the factors, it's right? indirectly. Can take. But which one is the predominating factor? Shear force. Bending moment. Wave shear. This is. Right? That is that. So you want to omit that. So like that, the weight is assigned with respect to the importance. So I can assign the weight. <coughs> one day my weight is 0, another day it's maybe 1. So how it's very with respect to my performance. With respect to my performance. And compared to others. Today my score is good. Next semester my score is very less when compared to older. How I can say my score is good today? Compared to others. Right? That is a benchmark. My zero now is a maximum. Another some days is getting down. It's a zero. So the weight is changes from one to zero or zero to one. Okay? With respect to where I want to compare. That is a weight. For example, I can take momentum in the beam column joint. When compared to all, what is my weightage? 0 0.75, 0 0.35 with respect to one scale, that is my weight. So this also I can link. Like that we want to assign the weight. Then activation function, this is another one. It decides whether neurons should be activated or not by calculating weighted sum and further adding bias with it. The purpose of activation function is to introduce the non-linearity into the output of the neuron. This is again spy activation function. This only create the activations. So different function available. Activation function, for example, sine function, tan function, tan set, sigma, n number of is there. Which one is more suited for your data? You can and you can choose. Then uh, the feed forward propagation. Suppose today my score is less. Madam say no. Go library, you learn and add a submit additional assignments, right? Similarly. So again I'll go back, then I do all the calculation, I come in sit, my weightages may be increases. Right? That is so. I'm accepting my is okay. My good friend may not be accept. I never go library. I go to home, 5 pm. So like that, it's quite difficult. So some data go for the feed forward and some da data don't disturb. Like our class is live example. Right? Then for example, I can take x1, x2, x3, data, n number of data. I assign the weight w1, w2 from 0 to 1. Then I can get that some mathematical model. Then what is input I give in x for a moment? Multiply by weight, for example, 0.5. M is 20 into 0.5, 10, that is all. This is one. Similarly, you can take n number of variables. So, which one is the best? Per, per, n number of students is there. I assign the weight 0 to 1 with respect to performance. Right? Good performance, I give 1. Bad performance, 0. Right? I can now it's compare, no? Where I am. Possible or not? Where I am will compare to that with respect to weight. You can play simple mathematical model. Right? Yeah. Here, <coughs> I can get that. Right? x1 plus x2 multiply by x1 multiply by v1. Similarly, x2 multiply by w2 by. Similarly, up to xm. Finally, you can get, you can get that some set of data. Previously, for example, I can tell you very easily. Previously, I compared my weightages with respect to whole classroom. Now, I want to compare this data. Who are the, who are all went to library for the special class, for example. I want to compare them. Right? This is another method. Now, old data this, this is a new data. This is old data, this is new data. 
Again, you have the two set of data, right? Again, you play. I can compare with this. That is another one. So another technology is this is the entire classroom, right? I want to split on last four rows, one group, another one, another one, another one. Split four group. I do the analysis for the group performance one, two, three, four, right? Then among this group, which one is the best? I can take. Then I can make this one more well-defined data set, well-defined set of what I need. That is a refinement of data. Refinement of data. That also I can take. So here, what I am using, using here, I can split one, two, three like this. One tree, how the n number of branches like this, I can split. So that is the ideology. Similarly, mathematically, mathematically, I want to split, right? x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4. How I can split? Divided by 4, I can split. Right? With the ratio, I can split. 1 is to 2 is to 1 and a half is to 2 is to 3. Like this, I can split. Different way. So, here, I can use some time function or sine, 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 sine function and all. Again, using that function, I can split the data. The static data, it comes to become dynamical data using this kind of activation function. Now you know that. What is the role of activation function? Yes or no? What is that? It's ignite, ignite the light inside to you. Like that. It's it, This only create the some dynamics in the data. You can get more. Simple sleeping means nothing you can learn. It's right. You go here and there. I came from Bangalore. I learned something today. How I can reach the Bangalore. Right? How I can reach the Chennai. Where is the Madam College, Olivas College, just like that. I know that uh, some exploration, I can meet my best friend also. Right? So, like this. So, that is the activation function. So, my activation function is, I want to come to the Chennai, I want to meet your people, I want to speak with you. This is my activation function. Similarly, data also, different data have the different functions. So, you see that you can activate it. This is a simple concept. So, we, you can use any kind of activation function for your data. You only is the master for the machine. So, you give that which fact, which activation function you want to use. That is your choice. So, different function you can use. For example, already told you, you know, activation function, I can take the different group. I want to omit one group. No need. So, I can take x1 plus x2 plus x3 divided by 3. Remove that. That is your strategy. That is your activation function. Again, Madam will ask, why omit that? That is your problem, you can tell the answer. So, your activation function is not good. So, you think about that, go for any activation function which you want to use and all. These are the simple mathematical formulae, how it's W is going up and down from 0 to 1, you can imagine. Right. How its input comes, what is the role of activation function here, we can get that. So, we can simply mathematically, we can play here, right, 24, 24, I in the 0 0.51 weight just what is the output, we can get. This is a symbol, mathematical model. <coughs> right. <coughs> so, I don't want to again confuse you all like uh, more. So I take x1, x2. I weighted w1, w2. 